nothing worse than getting woken up the way that we got woke up. Sleeping peacefully, not your kids, not an alarm going off, but the sound of the garbage truck passing by your neighborhood and you forgot to take out the trash and the recycling. Not only this week, but last week too. Your trash is full to the brim. You got trash bags all the way out. And you're not supposed to do that, but you're just gonna do it this one time. And you forgot to take it out again. That's exactly how we just got woken up. It was a false alarm. A very much false alarm because it wasn't even the garbage person. We got spared just now because that would have been a very long week and a hard explanation. How did it wake you up too? I mean, I was up too, but I wasn't like up and out of the bed. That, that got my tail up and out of the bed. Black sunshine. You're going to the gym, huh? You're not? No, I am. When do I miss? Why are you saying you're going to the gym, man? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't put anything on that. I will leave it. Did he not? He kind of said like, like, oh, you're going to the gym. Wow, I'm shocked. Did you go with me yesterday? No, but I did go to the gym yesterday. I know, but did you go with me? I've been going for the past four or five weeks. Have you been going with me? No, it doesn't matter. You just, okay, you want to be offended. Don't worry, that's, it. that's your that's your fire. That's where you get your fire from. Yeah, we show on the camera. Oh, I was going to the gym, guys. Really? You think I would do that? No. You see me taking my pre-workout? I was about to take a dry scoop of pre-workout, honestly. I'm actually about to take Wait, a dry scoop. Wait, what is your here. is that just coffee? Yeah. So this is caffeinated coffee, guys. You know me, you know that I don't drink caffeinated coffee very often. Can I have a little bit? Um I've been trying to stop drinking coffee in general because it literally stains your teeth. And I look at pictures from a long time ago and my teeth were super white and they have been stained by all the coffee that I was drinking. Huh? So I heard the other day was like, why are your teeth yellow? Oh yeah, that that's that's insane. He was roasting you. Really insane. I but, saw that too. <laughs> Why oh, y'all yeah, cooking me? <laughs> you think that's funny? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's funny that you gotta go to school today for eight hours. So we all have to do something about something. All right. Boop, boop. So I've been taking creatine for like the past almost two weeks. I don't know if I'm seeing the effects of it yet. Last time I took it, like for real, for real, was in high school. How long does it take to see? It's supposed to saturate your muscles within a month if you're doing five milligrams, but if you're doing um, like 10 or if you're doing a loading phase, it could take two weeks. But I'm not doing 10 because as you can see, I don't even have that much in there and I'm not about to buy no more. So we're going to take it till it's gone and then we out. I know. I just know. That butter. All that butter. That's what makes it. I think you do have a ton in there. You're going to put your finger in it? Yeah. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> what does it taste like? I'm gonna dry scoop this with my wine glass. Just to prove to y'all I can do it. Cause I feel like Kyra, she the only one. She got y'all thinking she the only one who can do stuff like this. And I'm gonna do it before I even put water in the cup. Does it taste good, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Just don't inhale. You know what's a successful dry scoop? When you can crunch and it's not there. Yeah. But I'm. I see some people like mm, 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 squish mm, it. Mm, oh. Like after they swallow, like because it kind of oh, gets yeah. in your teeth and stuff. 
working out today. We have another leg workout. Another one? Ach My program is only a four day program and you're supposed to like put a rest day in between, but I just don't because I like going to the gym. You go for gigs. That changed my life. I'm not going for gigs. No, se. I mean like, it's like a, is it a throwaway workout or is it like a serious workout? No, it's a serious workout. workout. Um, we were doing three day a week workouts and it was game changing. Like we used to go in college every day, even on Saturdays and Sundays. Hmm. And then we got married. We were still doing the same thing. And then we kind of fell off. We started doing three day a week compound lifts. Um, and that was game changing, but it made it feel like we only had to do like one workout a week, or maybe if we hit two, because they're all full body workouts. But if like towards the end of last year, maybe even maybe even two years ago, we were going every day for a bit, and we're just like, wow, we're pretty consistent. And we went back to three times a week, and then towards the end of last year, we started doing. Um, every day again or every weekday or I started doing every weekday and I've been incredibly consistent how do you feel consistency wise like three day a week is better for you or five day I like try going every day except Sunday oh yeah you do or like at least too. doing something like going on a walk or doing some kind of activity I feel like I like that the best but I've been liking my actual weightlifting because I'm trying to like change the shape of my glutes and that's kind of like a fun. Oh change the shape of them? Yeah. I'm doing that with For my chest. For the first time ever in my life I've become one of those gym girls that is like always Booty. working out. <laughs> Do you think I was works, never though? like that in college and stuff. I think so I've been watching so many like TikTok transformations because at, from like my research I have like my glue is not very defined at the top. I have more of like a bottom glue. Okay. So they're, you know, like, I, I don't know how you explain that. No, I get it. But get it. girls who have, like, hip dips maybe and more bottom glute, your butt looks really good from the side. Hip dips, bottom glute. So you say yeah. you have bottom glute. I have bottom glute and hip dips. Like, m like very minor hip dips, but okay. still. Like, my hips don't naturally go out like that. Like, they kind of go in a little bit and mm -hmm. then back out. And from the back, I have very, like, square glutes. Oh. Like, round on the bottom, but still square. Like there's no side glute curvature. So what is the glute goal? The glute goal is to kind of get the side glute and the top glute more pronounced. So I have more of like- So a, what are you doing? Like, what, what kind of workouts? <laughs> <laughs> so that is like clamshells. That's oh, no, like, dude. okay, well, anyway, working out the side glute and then the top glute so that it's more like rounded. Okay. But the perks of having hip dips and a lower glute already kind of there from the side you have like a nice round like your butt looks good what kind of glute do i have you have a lot of top glute like you I have, have a lot you of have top. long glutes you know what though you know what i said glutes so much it doesn't even sound like a word anymore. <laughs> yeah now that i'm thinking about it um i think the reason i have top glute was track workouts yeah you have long glutes and i don't have long glutes mine are like short so is that a nice butt like wow it, yeah it just depends what glute. you want <laughs> Some, like, I'm sure you've seen a lot of guys wear those tight pants, and then they have a lot of, like, lower glute. I have no low glute at all. No, yeah. So, no, is that, no. like, a hamstring, like, weakness or something? Well, it's, first of all, it's just, like, genetics. Like, how is your butt shaped, I think? Like, how long is that muscle? You have, like, a long glute muscle. I don't have a long glute muscle. Because they say, you know what they say? In track, a lot of people get, like, hamstring injuries. Yeah. And my coach taught me. He said, if you have a weak butt, you have a weak back. So, we did a lot of, um like deadlifts and hyper extensions yeah. and things like that but i think the same thing like the things that you're working on um just remove it from your backside and put it on my front side and i'm trying to grow like a chest and genetically i have this like huge chest gap right here um and i have no low like yeah you don't muscle. have like a lot of a lot of any i got a lot there. of fat there yeah and then i don't have any like top so like with me and my brothers, the one thing that we say is like, we can get biceps, we can get everything else, but our chest genetics are like yeah. kind of weak. But I've been challenging that because as I'm like really starting to like bench, my chest is kind of growing a little bit and I'm pretty strong. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if anybody in my family ever really tried to grow the chest muscle. So yeah. I'm gonna try that and we're gonna see what it's looking like. But um, it's looking promising. It's looking promising in my opinion.
We decided to take a walk because apparently the morning sun is very important for all people, but specifically for the melanated ones. The sun gives vitamin D3 and they say the darker your complexion, the more vitamin D that you need. And it's kind of a big issue in the melanated community of us not getting as much sun as we need so apparently the morning sun is like the best sun so we're just gonna go on a little walk let the sun on? touch our skin we're gonna sun gaze a little bit right no Carl, you're not gonna stare at the sun no. are you gonna stare at the sun during the eclipse no it can hurt your eyes don't burn them eyes oh. burn your retina no i don't have sunscreen on i have okay. natural sunscreen oh. <laughs> you don't have natural sunscreen that's a myth Black people don't have natural sunscreen? No. We what do we have? We need to wear sunscreen. And why are we dark? <laughs> You're dark. That's just how it is. No, Even our black dermatologist says we still don't wear sunscreen. Yeah, but no aren't we a little sunscreen. bit more resistant a to the sun? A little bit, but still. And it's also good for anti-aging. Like, it just helps your skin look good. The women in the gym just now were talking about sunscreen. And she's oh, just like, you know sunscreen's important, right? She's like, you know skin cancer is real, right? <laughs> and I said, not for me! Yes, it is! <laughs> Oh, and a baby one. I've never seen the big ones over here before. That's crazy. I didn't even know they had big ones. Those are some snappers. They had tear us up. <laughs> we brought the boys over here. And they got fishies too. our military. Those are some freaking armored helicopters. Hi. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if there's an Air Force base, military base. That's crazy. You could feel how powerful I they know. are. Oh, you could hear them from far Oh my goodness. That was like very close. Oh, look at that big dog. Is that real? Kyra yeah. keeps seeing these animals and she's just like, because the backyards are just exposed over here, so you can see everyone's business. Caitlin, that dog was stiff as a statue. That cat that you saw, though, 
That cat did look like a cougar. It looked like it could be a coyote. I was about to. That mug was. Because in our neighborhood, I don't think we're allowed to have like stray animals outside. Well, stray animals aren't allowed to be anywhere. They just don't, don't got anywhere to go. I'm pretty sure that is their cat. We got a but... little water feature over here. Okay, there was a place that me and Kia went down and like. Like uh, into the. Yeah, I don't remember where that was though. I didn't even know this existed. It's a cool little running spot. A little figure eight too. People will probably heck up be fishing in here. Well, needless to say, we're definitely lost. You about to run. She fixing her eye, y'all. Oh, low. I'm, I'm gonna run with you. Let's see if you can keep up. You don't want to be running though, so. No, I've ran twice, guys. I'm not a runner, but. Oh, low. I'm trying to get skinny. We're definitely lost. We thought that if we kept taking this um, trail, that we would be able to like loop around, but we were wrong. So we actually got to the furthest point away from our car just to have to turn around. So that's pretty sweet. We gonna do it. Let's do it. We both got running shoes on too. Oh, this is it? Okay. I run on the treadmill. We straight. I put it at like a 2.7. I haven't ran like this in a long time. And my chest is bigger now. So I I gotta run like this. Because if I run That's faster. That's how y'all be running. <laughs> if I run faster, I'm only gonna be able to run for like three minutes. Yeah. But if I run slower, I can run for like 10. How do you 10. feel though? I feel fine. You're not I peeing like on yourself? Today, though, so I'm really tired. We just got back from our run, but I need to start doing my schoolwork. And I was just thinking, I was sometimes the best, actually a lot of times, oh, hello. The best way to remember something that you're learning is to tell someone else about it. And then you can really test what? It's not snacks. Your food. This man. Okay. Um, sometimes the best way to like remember something that you're trying to learn is by telling someone else or teaching someone else. So, then it like just tests how much you actually know. And it also helps you remember because it's like, oh yeah, I remember we had this conversation. I always do that while like, I'm taking my test. It's like, oh yeah, me and Kaylin talked about that, which means this, whatever, whatever. Anyway, my professor was talking about, um, actually no, he played a video clip of kind of just politically like the difference between the left and the right. And a little bit of background because you guys are probably gonna be like, this girl is dumb. Uh, I did not grow up like watching the news. My parents never voted. Even when Barack was in office, my parents did not vote, okay? So that's the kind of household I grew up in. No, there was no news, nothing. Um, so I am very, what is that called? Like, I just don't know a lot about politics. Apolitical. No, I'm ignorant. like ignorant. Yeah, I'm just very ignorant to a lot of political things. Anyway, I'm trying to change that though because I do think at a, there's a certain level in which I should participate and at least know what's going on. So I'm working on that at the old age of 26. Well, anyway. There's another word too. We call it political efficacy, which I think is just the understanding of why politics matter or the lack thereof. Um, people who vote typically have more political efficacy and people who don't typically lack it. Um, ignorance. They, they have the ignorance of politics, not necessarily a bad way, but they're more apolitical or apolitical, however you say it, because they just don't know why they should care. 
Yeah, I'm very apolitical. I'm very, like, I don't, I'm just living. And it's actually kind of crazy because my entire, like, childhood up until really I was, like, 19, because I experienced, like, my parents not voting, not knowing anything about politics, and I was... I felt very unaffected by politics, so it's really hard in my brain to see how I am affected by politics, because it doesn't feel like I am. It just feels like I keep living my life, like I raise my kids, and I'm married, and whatever, and it doesn't feel like politics affect me in my day-to-day, but they do. But, it, like, my, like, growing up, I felt like they didn't, because I'm like, well, my parents didn't vote, and they were fine. And I was fine not knowing anything about when elections were happening. Like, I, w- I don't even remember when Barack, like, was officially announced into office. Inaugurated? Yeah. Like, I, where was I? I don't know. A lot of, a lot of people um, on, t- what'd you say? January 2008. Yeah, a lot of people on TikTok will be like, I remember exactly where I was. And I'm like, I don't even know the year. I don't even, I don't know anything. I don't even... I didn't even know, like, where people voted, how people voted. Anyway, enough Barack, about that. Barack being inaugurated was a holiday in our house. Exactly. Like, I was, we stayed home. Yeah, yeah. And I, d- we didn't even, like, I didn't even, we didn't have the news on anything. Anyway, my professor was playing a video clip, and he was saying how the left focuses on, like, fixing society through like, what would that be, like, societal missions, so, like, all the race stuff, social justice. social justice, yes, 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 and then the right focuses on changing the morals and ethics of the person, so that as a society, because every person will be morally and ethically better, or more well-rounded, therefore society will be better. I'd say... I mean, obviously, this is, like, a very general yeah, thing. Yeah, that's, like, super, like, a super simplified way of saying it. But I also know that he's probably implying that the left has some amount of, like, morals and ethics and that the right also, like, cares about change in institutions, well, too. Yes. Well, he's saying that through us raising children to be morally and ethically better we will therefore have a better society. Whereas the left is saying, well, if we just change the institutions the themselves. institutions themselves, then society will be better. And the right is like, well, no, because the people are still morally bad. Right. So the, the, in his example, the left would be The institutions in themselves would be very big. It would be a big government, and they would depend upon that government to enact change and good things. Yeah. But his argument is that if you don't change it from the inside, if then you don't it'll the go people. back. Yeah. And I would even say, like, the right tends to be more religious, especially in America, more Judeo-Christian-centric. Yeah. So more than just being moralistic, there's like a idea of like moralistic deism where people treat doing the right thing like it's a God. More than that, it's the gospel changing the person's heart and their actions. So he yeah. probably even takes it even further than just doing good things. Oh, yeah. It's like living, like incentivizing people to be married, to raise kids, to go to church, like create people that are well-rounded good people so that they can go out and affect the world in a good way versus changing the infrastructure of things so that people will be or people are like forced to be less racist by making them hire more black people or asian people or indian people when it's like that's not in their heart it's just now being forced upon them versus the right is like well if we change the people it will change the society. And I was like, I never thought, I, I never thought about any of this, but I've never thought about it that way. Yeah. And then it just made me think like, okay, well, which way do I think is right? I think that changing people changes society yeah. in, that, in that instance. But I think that there's like, there's a lot of assumptions 
I mean, obviously we talked about this being like a super simplistic method, but from people that I've spoken to, that would be more liberal, progressive, because those are, there's difference even, even with that. Um, I think that they genuinely have a different idea of like the anthropology of man. Mm -hmm. Like they don't believe that people are inherently bad. So they'll probably have like a base assumption that people are good enough to do good at like a base level. So if you make the institutions better, then since people are, most people are good, then you don't have the problem of the institution itself being corrupted from the inside yeah. out. That's Where we're true. saying, no, people are bad and we're inclined to sin and we're naturally inclined to hate God and we wouldn't desire or choose him left to our own devices. So we say that people need to have a regenerated heart so that they can even desire God and in that desiring and in the regeneration of that heart and as the Lord continues to sanctify them, then they are more inclined towards good. They do good yeah. things and you can change things from the inside out. Yeah. Um, but I know that those people exist on both sides, yeah, yeah. but I guess by and large, there's just a, a difference in, in thinking. Yeah. Well, and like, I guess even would this be true? Like even in voting, if you vote on the left, then you kind of align with changing society in that way. But if you vote on the right, the laws and things that they're going to try to put into place are going to align more with changing the people. I would say... Would that be true? Um, well, I'm just kind of thinking it from like a, a liberal and progressive standpoint. Like people who are more liberal are more loose, more live, let live. And then people who are progressive. They're not only liberal, but they're also trying to advance the agenda of the personal freedoms and liberties um, more so than a liberal person would. Um, and I would even add that they're trying to deconstruct and take down, abolish, replace the conservative values yeah, that they would say are, are archaic and like hold them back. And I would say we're not necessarily trying to, like on a more conservative um, Bible-centric side, I said we, but I, I'm Bible, I'm not, I'm independent, no label. We're just trying to maintain God's laws because we believe that, that those will. blessings come from God's law and his yeah. order. Yeah. It just makes me, I'm like, I'm team whatever makes sense to me. Whatever. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't really, I'm not a label person. I really never have been. But I just think it's all very interesting to think about. And I feel like as long as I have the ability to think, it doesn't matter what side you're on. If I can think and I can use my brain to be like, this makes sense to me, this doesn't make sense to me then well, I would say yes. that's where I like to be. Because elections have consequences. So as, as believers, we vote our conscience. Yeah, exactly. So like my, my, my big issue is like we do come from California, so we are naturally more liberal. Yeah, and Although, I come from a non-political household. So yeah, yeah. my... It's kind of like live, let live. Yeah, oh know, yeah, mind very free-spirited. If yeah. it don't affect me, then it doesn't matter. But I feel like after we had kids, I start seeing how the more progressive minded people they believe they're progressive because that's within you know their ideology their agenda but i believe it's regressive because it does affect me uh directly or indirectly with unintended consequences which is me giving you know the benefit of the doubt to them but some of the consequences they might intend so yeah. now i feel like i'm being encroached right. on with in my worldview and how i believe and it's really honestly selfish to be like oh well it doesn't affect me but it could affect like people in South Dallas, it could affect people in Fort Worth. Like it could affect people all around us, and that's not good either. Like we should vote for the good of the people, yeah. even if it doesn't directly affect me or my kids. It's tough being a Californian in uh, the South. I know. <laughs> because I'm telling you, <laughs> just human empathy wise and wanting people to be left to their own devices, it seems right, but. That also can get people straight to hell. And with the convictions that I have, like I want people to be saved more than I want them to, um, you know, live their best life now under some like socialistic, communistic type system. Like, yeah. 
Anyway, that's what I'm learning about in class right now. And this isn't even my government class. This is just a philosophy class, which I'm really appreciating because it's just stretching my brain and helping me to think about things that I've never thought about. And it's always good to get, I mean, my professor is literally a genius. He has like, he's a doctor. He is like, has, he literally teaches like 10 different classes, has gone to a billion different schools. And I just love learning under him. Like he is just a literal fountain of knowledge, just constantly spitting facts. And it's just so simple to him. Like he just sits there and he just, he just starts talking and he can just go and go and go. And it's like, wow, I want to switch brains with me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm loving it. That's kind of what we're talking about in class right now. Top of the morning, Luke Balls. It's on a Friday today. I know what that is. Chick-fil-A. Okay, what's on Friday? Chick-fil-A day. Chick-fil-A. Is it? No. Um, if we want it. We have groceries. Nope. Dang. Well, if we don't have groceries today, that means we don't have them before tomorrow either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know her. I don't even know if I can really be eating Chick-fil-A like that. Sometimes <laughs> it'd be hidden. On Friday, because it's laundry day. No, fun Friday because the boys can play Minecraft. They can watch TV. They can play video games. They can, you know. We normally go to the park, I feel like, next Friday. Well, I'm still gonna, I might take them to the park so I can put up some shots. I'm gonna be game tomorrow. You know, it's a big deal. I got, I got guests coming. Or Kyra, Kyra got guests coming. I forgot about that. Yeah, I told our friends that we got guests coming. I said, be on your A game. You don't want to get your tail busted up. So. I did not tell him that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, my shot wasn't dropping last week. Really, it, it was super windy. It's going to be windy tomorrow, too. And we play outdoors, so all these extra variables. But the week before that, I was really cooking and Kyra was there for her first time. She went to my first game and she saw me cooking the week before. But, so she knew it was possible. I wasn't cooking. I wasn't cooking last week, so. I gotta get my get back, you know? You know what's funny is that week that I was cooking, the following week, People who weren't even there start coming up to me and they say, hey, I heard you was balling. I heard you was balling last week. So I know I got a little of a reputation. <laughs> I was not brutal. But anywho, video games today. We might do some treats. Just the boy. I don't know. Maybe having treats after week. Really what I wanted to watch, I want to see Kung Fu Panda. But I'm afraid to go in the movie theater because if I do, I'm gonna make some real bad decisions. Like I'm gonna really be eating the candy like it's food, and I don't really have a I don't have a, a pause button when it comes to stuff like that. Like I really be eating for real. Oh no! I was grilling in these pants yesterday, and I kind of stained them. I don't even know how happy that just made me. Just put in the trash cans back. Give me the opportunity to put an empty trash can back. <sighs> Y'all, it was a hard week. You got six people living in your house. You know the last time I had six people living in the house? My parents. We generate a lot of trash. And look at that. Empty trash can, empty recycling. We all got this uh, Fun Friday initiated by making some bad decisions to get it popped off. We were going to get these um, these bagels that are super fire. Um, Kyra learned how to make them at the house though, so she has one every day, but I haven't had one in a minute. 
I had hers, half of hers earlier this week. It got me. You said you didn't really like it. It was good. It was good. It reminded me that I do like like the bagels. But as we got over here, um, we instead went to Chick Fil A because we thought that they had these like spicy chicken biscuits. Um, turns out they have regular pigs in the blanket. Not How are they? In they are. I think that's what they are. Instead yeah. of like having a hot dog, though, it's chicken. Am I tripping? It's not pig in a blanket. What is it called? A mini biscuit. Mm -hmm. a mini chicken biscuit. No, because I was getting flamed because they're talking about kaloshis and stuff. And I say, what's that? When we we're playing basketball, and all the guys are just like, where? Like. Do you even live here? Like what? I'm like, boy, I ain't never heard of that. I know, I've never heard of it either. Um, but apparently they kind of likened it to pigs in a blanket. So Wait, but in order for it to be a pig in a blanket, it has to be a pig. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like the substitute, like it's a chicken. Oh, Will you yeah. let me live? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Is it good though? Um, it's okay. I, I think this, it again. the breading is interesting. I think the breading is the best part. I wish it was spicy. The, th the softness isn't throwing you off though? No, the softness is good, but I just wish it was spicy. Mm -hmm. You're a spicy girl. But now we're gonna get this breakfast place. I'm really have been on the hunt for like some California tasting Mexican food. So I'm hoping that what they call the California burrito here is actually a California burrito. Let's see. It's all full, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be all. Oh. Well, you're not full. You just got a little bit of energies. I'm oh. super tired. We can also start off by walking. But you want to run for real. Maybe. I can only run for about seven minutes anyway. Let's see what they talk about. Nice. That's a red flag. The cool thing about Texas is you can come to schools, like any school pretty much, after hours, um, after like 6, 6.30, and it pretty much functions as a public park. So you can allow your kids to like play on the playground and have fun. So that's like one of the markedly different things I would say that's different about Texas than where we're from they really seem to prioritize kids playing outside getting active and it seems like every neighborhood has a park you're never too far away from one um, and then every school like I said opens up and allows you to let your kids play came to this school we've been here before and the boys we're having a little picnic, a little nick pick, and Kyra just said she's still hungry. You got the wrong thing too. Imagine if you'd got that salad. I know. I'm starving still. Like I'm still hungry, but I need to get some shots up. Get ready for my game tomorrow. It's really important that I put some buckets on these people's heads. So y'all gonna see me. Get some buckets up. Get her? I see you get buckets. 
Let's see you. Let's see you make one. Whoa. That was a good kick. Can we see you make a shot? You gonna make it on the camera? Let's see. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, double. Okay, two sport player. He's made it before, but he might be messing around right now. What is he doing? It's 11. What is he doing in here? Well, so I have five more minutes. I have literally listened to 18 lectures. 18 hours? Not lectures. My lectures are an hour each. But they're what? Over 30? Um, yes. You want that degree? What? 18? Are you taking notes? Or are you feeling out your... Some of them are really short, though. You about to be done right now? Yeah. This, this is your last one? Mm -hmm. Just exit out there. Just... Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. I'm just wait right here. We're just going to wait for you. What? We're just going to wait for you. I'm just... After church, HIV trip. Because stand over there. we absolutely have to, and we don't really even want to because we're both like super lightheaded right now. Well, you're not lightheaded, are you? It's not a headache. I don't know why. You're just tired? Yeah. I need to eat. I ran a mile yesterday. Did you? I ran a mile yesterday. But that's, that's, big that's big news. Big news. Her goofy child called me over here for this. <laughs> I said, this one looked kind of... <laughs> Pass. Hey. No Diddy. No Diddy. That's just a no Diddy right there. You know what that means? Not really. You don't know what no Diddy is? Not really. <laughs> just say it. Say it. I really want a Jeep Wrangler. Well, I've wanted one since, like, I was 18. Ain't no way you had us buy this Cherokee wanting a Wrangler. Because I thought that like I couldn't be a mom and drive a Wrangler. Really? You know, I thought I needed a mom car. That was a young but thought. But really, do not fall into that trap. You can drive whatever car you want. I do love this car. This was also my dream car. I had multiple. We should have just bought the Wrangler. That would have been cheaper. That was a young thought, though. She's also trying to convince me to get pizza right now for breakfast. Oh, yeah, you're not taking me. I just realized you're distracting me. Distracting you? Yeah, with the camera. You know, let me put this camera down because I'm about to pass the part where I got pulled over the other week. D1. She got us here at this restaurant. We had it last week. It's called it's called Pie Top. It's a pizza place with I think they rotisserie their chicken so it actually tastes super fresh. It's really good. Um, we were disappointed though because we came on Easter and we forgot or we came a little too late to have no. the dessert that we wanted. No, what happened was we ordered on time. By the time we ate, we ordered another pizza and or, or another two pizzas, we ate that and then tried to order dessert. There you go, bro. That's what we came for right there. And you can start off with it. I think I'm going to get a breakfast. Or chicken biscuit. What are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I just said don't. You're going to get the same thing we got last time? Last I time we got this. this mimosa, honestly. Okay. $3 mimosa? 
Okay, it is. Honestly, sign me up, right? Well, Kaka already told on us. What do you say? The waitress knows that we was at church because his little communion cup. Uh, so okay. you gonna you get the mimosa plus that uh, communion juice? That's different. That's different. The last time we got this like barbecue chicken rotisserie, which was fire. Yeah. Okay. But today, today I gotta switch it up. Let me focus so I can figure out. Cinnamon rolls here, is it good? Okay, you gave me the best part. That is kind. That is very kind. Gave me the this is the best part. Let's see. This is mine. Let's see if it's actually good though. I'm not even a cinnamon roll guy. You have to pick it up. So just bite it. Hmm. That's all right. I'll be the judge. It's actually pretty good. Uh-huh. And get some in? I don't know if it's come back good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's come back for it, but that's it. repetitive in nature but I never feel this is probably the easiest thing I do all day yes baby okay bring me your bowl it's actually kind of fun making all of the food fit into the little compartments like you want me to. okay king a lot of that or just a little bit? Mm. Just a little bit. Like that or a little bit more? Mm. Okay, here you go. Okay, thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that anything? I said I still went in there and asked them you, if they have tea. <laughs> you didn't say a single word. You went, I <laughs> said, You were doing all the gestures. You did. That's what she was talking about. <laughs> You finally got caught. I wish it was recorded that. Mm. No, no Kaylin, I, I record myself enough. There be times I don't even know what I said. But I really look sure that sure of myself. Well, sometimes it's like you'll be not, you'll be thinking that you're saying stuff and then you realize you're not saying nothing and you just can't stop. It's just going. It's just coming out. <laughs> this girl posted this video clip. She was getting her hair done. And she was like, this is like the kind of socially awkward I am. She, the girl was like putting her hair forward, like, okay, like it's done. And she's like, girl, look You cut so that in threes? Well, this is my little Tetris. Is it, would it be Tetris? Because this hits perfectly in there. Oh, that's the big, <laughs> that's the big one. And I put the big one in there. Okay, see, that's why you don't question moms. Right, you don't come over, you don't come over my shoulder talking about, you cut that in threes. Hey, also don't be making up new words. <laughs> is it Tetris? I think I got that from you, but I don't know what it means. Um... Okay, anyway, the girl, she was, like, getting her hair done, and the girl was like, okay, good, it's done. And she's like, oh, my gosh, it looks so good. Like, girl, it looks just like... And then she just literally stopped talking. Crazy. And some people in the comments, <laughs> no, people in the comments were like, that's what happens when you become, like, so aware of yourself in a moment mm -hmm. that you just shut your mouth. So let me stop. Because, no, not because you're going to say something crazy, but 
Like, have you, has that ever happened? Like, when you're talking and then you just become so aware of how you're talking? Who said that? Put your hands up. No, no. I'm gonna get your Kayla, no. I just What'd you say? I just didn't say that. No. Where are you from? Are you, you ain't gonna even play? Are you, you gonna play with me or not? Stop. Are you gonna play with me? No. Okay, okay. No, no, quit, quit, quit. Quit. That's perfume? Yeah. Why would you even spray at all? Is that the one that'd be hurt in my head? No. Okay, where are you from? I just really written you to tell me. Where are you from? Where are you from? No. Hmm? Hold y'all. That sucked. You gave me. Kyra yeah. gave me the googlies just now. Them oogly googly eyes. Like, you. boy. That was heavy. Fastball leaving, obviously. That was really heavy. Very late breakfast time. Today we're going to be hitting these protein oats. Found these at HEB. And. They kind of taste the same, except there's way more protein in them, like 10 grams. So I can get, what, per third of a cup? So I can get about 30 grams of protein from one cup of oats. Pretty solid. While I'm cooking breakfast, I like to do the dishes. So unload the dishwasher, put that stuff away, and then put whatever's in the sink in there. Um, this year, we've been kind of, I don't want to say experimenting, but we've kind of made it a habit that's actually been sustained of not having any dishes in the sink ever. And the way that we accomplish that is by washing our dishes off as soon as we're done using them and then immediately putting them away. But sometimes, since there's so many people that live here, we're kind of like on different routines or schedules. Um, so somebody will cook and the dishwasher will be on so they have to like leave it here. So we practice teamwork and it's like if you see a need just spill it um we don't have like a whole chore routine or anything it's just kind of like the honor system and about being a good teammate being thoughtful um which i appreciate because sometimes i'll think that there's dishes in here that need to be done i'll come in and somebody took the initiative to do it which is great um other times like right now i see the dirty stuff and as we put away, so I'll just do it, but it's not even a big deal because they're already pretty much washed off anyway. So, somebody just comes and puts them away. And look at this, I'm already almost done. Two birds, one stone. The oatmeal water is already boiling, and then everybody gets to enjoy an empty sink. <sighs> different car, different situation. Beauty! We're gonna try to find some glasses to watch the eclipse. eclipse. This is kind of romantic, no? Oh. Did you know that Krispy Kreme has like eclipse donuts? I know that Sonic. Oh! 
I think Sonic, if you buy something, like their Eclipse drink, they give you free Eclipse glasses. Oh. I just remembered that after you said that. Um, but at Krispy Kreme, they put like an Oreo in the middle. And then pizza places have like their Eclipse pizzas, so they're like doing nice little deals for it. Y'all are tweaking over this Eclipse. I mean, maybe I might once I see it, but I really am not getting the hype right now. Guys, I just had a thought that made me really uncomfortable. Kyra was joking and she just called me Zaddy. Well, you didn't need to say that. No, but it wasn't like, it wasn't nothing. Like it wasn't like sexual or anything. No. But then I just had a core memory. Do you remember that popular song? They calling me Daddy. Then we're how ready to go. Shall we make it rain? Yeah. How old were you when you were listening to that? I thought it was the calling. Wait, is it Daddy or is it Diddy? <laughs> no Diddy. I thought, no Diddy. Am I tripping? Just because Diddy's in the news so much? Or? No, it was Daddy. Oh, uh, it sounds like when he says it, though, it sounds like uh -oh, Diddy. I'd be getting uncomfortable when we be remembering songs and stuff like that. Like, no, what's that one song? Um, oh, makes me crank on my nose. And that song. Hey, yeah, that one's crazy. My we used, me and my siblings used to sing that on we, like, what is that called? Karaoke. As an adult, I literally, I can't. Like, as a cringe. parent. As a parent. Now, but I'm like, if, if you, I heard my kids saying that, there's no way. If you draw more attention to it and be like, guys, you can't sing that, then honestly, I would have been like, you why? End up doing it. <laughs> Oh that. no, <laughs> that, that came out wrong. What is it called? A tankini? A tankini? Tank, like a, a bikini, but it's a tank top. Like, isn't that so cute? Can, can bikinis, wherever these things are, ever be modest though? Because I'm really trying to not have my booty out, you know? Can they ever be modest? The girly sold it out. Let me say, okay. good luck finding your size, huh? Wow. Everybody's yeah. been talking about how. Look how cute this is. I used skins? to love a tank. Oh, it's, it said swim. My bad. <laughs> Why are you thinking about Kim Kardashian so much today? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't think about that woman. I'm just messing with you. No, everybody's always talking about how Walmart has slept on and how they have so much nice fashion and stuff like that. But I think that's only true for the girlies out there. But I guess I'll check out the, the men's stuff. But actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that because I don't even need anything else. I'm just gonna wear the same thing over and over as I've been doing, as I should. Look how cute this is. That's so this cute. looks like something you would wear. Why do they got my size and nothing here? Because they already know the secret's out. The secret's out. I'm not here. Talking right now, there was a lady. Um, we asked them if they had like the eclipse glasses and she they said didn't. that they're like sold out but i was telling kyra that i liked her hair and i wanted to tell her that i liked it but you know sometimes i feel like as a man you can't say certain things like that because i'm like maybe i'm not reading the room correctly like maybe that's just not something that you say anyway we were just talking about are we looking forward to having gray hair ourselves or not and i thought i don't know i don't know why I should have known now that I'm thinking about it that you're the type of woman that is absolutely looking forward to some gray hair. Like, <laughs> Kyra can't wait to get hers. Um, I personally don't want her to dye it if she's going to get it. But I think that it looks really nice. Like, it looks really cool. Um, then I made the mistake of thinking that I'm going to get the opportunity to have gray hair. Yeah, Kayla thinks he's going to go bald. No, I'm already balding for real. No, you're not. You don't think I'm bald? Um, Daddy, you're not. I, I don't know. You're not bald. No, you start by thinning. So for me, it's you're probably going to be in the corners. Corners are already thin. I have my but your corners have always been and thin. Just in a new paradigm where this sport as Baby, you're in denial. And you're making me feel like you don't, you're not, you don't like bald guys. No. Your corners have always been thin. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you're in denial. Even when back. we were dating, your corners were thin. Yeah, they were. And this hair just grows over it. So it makes it look like... They used to be strong, but they've always been like that. I mean, my hairline was lower, but it's kind of always been like this. Yeah. I make the ball joke maybe too much because I my hair looks the exact same. But I, I prefer to be bald. That's why. That's I fine. Yeah, that's fine. Just say that I want to go bald. 
Yeah. Or I want to be bald. I might try and do some minoxidil or some finasteride. I just don't want to be impotent. Um, because the finasteride, can't that's, have that. you'll have ED. Right. And I can't have ED. We can't have ED. Right. Um, it's on but, our journey. But with minoxidil, I mean, I'll take some heart populations if I can get my beard. Kaylin. If I can get my beard to fill it. Mm -mm. It's not that serious to me. I think that honestly, when you allow yourself to naturally age, you actually look better. Well, this is you actually look more youthful if you just let yourself naturally age. That's why I don't like haven't gotten Botox or like filler or anything. Granted, I am 26, like this, <laughs> you know. But there are 20 years, 20 year olds out there, 22 year olds out there that are already getting Botox and stuff. Yeah, I mean, so, Botox or what do you call it, baby Botox? Yeah. Well, I honestly feel like when you do that, it can make you look older. Like there are some, I think, 22 year olds that look older than me, and I'm going to be 27 this year. Well, sometimes I like going on the weird side of YouTube, and I was on that weird side a couple days ago, looking up SMP, which is like skin micro pigmentation. Um, I think that's what it's called, but it's when they do like tattoo little micro hair follicles on bald heads. Oh uh, yeah. So have you ever seen bald people with that like fake hair line? Yeah. It's that, and I'm like black guys, dark skin people. I think it looks a lot better because you can't really tell. Um, but when they get that bald head in the light, then you just see that mug shining. And it's yeah. like, wait, they have a tattoo on their head. Yeah. So I was looking at that, and then I was just reading the comments. And, you know, in the comment sections of YouTube videos and, like, a lot of Reddit places, you get the, like, the real ways that people feel. And a lot of bald guys or guys who are balding, they lose a lot of confidence. Really? Yeah. Like, it's like a, it's a big thing. Oh. But, I think, I feel like I don't think it's a big thing because... My dad has been bald since I can remember. Like my, so I think he went bald when I was like three. So like basically my whole life that I've known him, I've grown up with a bald dad and a, with a beard. So it's like very, it's actually more normal to me. Your dad see. has a glorious beard though. Like his yeah, beard is beard. so marvelous that it's worth sacrificing top hair. Well, he didn't sacrifice, he lost it. He didn't have <laughs> an option. Oh, but. So you like, if you went bald, I actually think it would look good. I don't well, think... We don't know if I can pull it off yet. Yeah, you could. I don't know. You need we'll to grow see. your beard like how it was when we went to Disney World, though. <sighs> no, that was a weak growth. I need to use some anoxidil. Listen, listen to me. I need to use some castor oil. We need to massage. There's a lot of things you can do to grow beard here. Some myth, some legend, some legit. <laughs> okay. You know the myths they say about growing beard here? Wow. Kaylin's gonna try going to the food mart to see if they have any. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I feel like it's a no. And it's a no. <laughs> I said, I got the glasses. She was pointed. I said, this is the easiest. Oh! $10 y'all done made. She was just like, yep. I said, people coming in here and nice. buying this paper. Nice! How much you think it was? You paid for these? Yeah. How much? This paper was ten dollars. Do they have the thing on it? I heard that they have to have the oh yeah, ISO on the side approved. Period. You don't even know what that means. No, but I heard that's what what you gotta look for. I can't believe nice. I'm about to go watch a movie. We about to go to <laughs> These better be three D glasses. <laughs> What's true is today is the busiest travel day of the year. Okay, we're talking about because the other day. Wow, laugh at me. <laughs> Caitlin was like, the boys have school tomorrow, it's the eclipse. And I was like, I know. And he was like, like, we're gonna have to keep them home because it's gonna be so packed. Like, and what time does it start? Like, we're gonna have to like, we can't, we're not gonna be able to pick them up from school because it's gonna be so packed. And I just kind of gave him a look like, <laughs> You know what, I get it. You're just kind of silly to me. I get it, I get it. Because, <laughs> because if it was the eclipse, but people start turning into werewolves and vampires, then okay, you would believe so it. Funny. Um, and we literally pulled up to the mall because I have a barn to return, and there's literally no one here. And we, Caitlin literally wanted to keep our kids home from school because he thought it was going to be so packed. I'm going to take you to my school and so you can see I how was lit just, it actually I was just telling him that he, like, he'll tell me things as if it is 100% fact, and I think that just in the past year, really, I've just kind of 
<laughs> not that I don't believe. No, yeah, honestly, that I just kind of don't believe you. Not everything, but sometimes I, I really highly doubt. I'm the most truthful person in your life. You believe no, everything I say. you are truthful. But when you you're making assumptions, like, okay, we're driving down. That's not an assumption. I was told that by my professor. Honey, and what does he know? He doesn't know. I didn't say, hey, Kyra, uh, absolutely gospel truth. You got to believe what my professor said. This is what he said. I just said, my professor said, I told you what he did. He went and he got gas for all the cars. He told us, you shouldn't leave on Monday. It's going to be so busy. Okay. He said that. And then the news that I'm listening to is also saying this is the busiest travel day of the country. We are the only place that has full coverage. We're not the and only a lot place. Of, not the only place, but like these lower See? states. See? That's what I mean. What? You just said we're the only place that has full If I didn't know that we weren't the only place, I would have believed you. Oh, we can't misspeak. Got it. Got I'm it. just saying. So when you were speaking that gibberish earlier, <laughs> whatever you were saying earlier. Don't try to distract us from the main point right the main, now. The main point right now is I'm the most truthful person in your life and you believe everything I say. Yes, you are very true. Is it happening? It's you awesome. are very look at you, truthful. Look at you. Look at you. You do but, care. I mean, I don't want to miss would, it. We you just... would care more if you said, if it's happening and I start going. <laughs> <laughs> so I start being a ripper on you too. You would start yeah, caring. But we're driving down the street and a boy is riding down his bike and he, he was like, oh, he's probably coming from this school down here. And I'm like, you just... <laughs> He just makes up storylines, but says it as if it's 100 percent fact. What would you rather mean? Or like you just know, like it is just funny to me. No, I love it. I think it's so funny though. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying. trying to be funny. I'm telling you the truth. It's not the truth though. I give you facts. You literally were like telling me about how your professor said we need to fill our cars up with gas. Like we're not even gonna be able to pick up our kids because it's gonna be so freaking busy. Let listen, me let me just show you. No, listen. let me just show you guys what this parking lot looks like right now. There, there's no one here. They, like, there's plenty of spots. Listen, it's not packed. I'm the most fun person to be around because I always have random facts about everything. Because. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. Look at you. You know, I just like to share information. I didn't know I was going to be, like, judged for the accuracy of it. No, no. Well. Do you enjoy me telling you stuff? You literally. Guys, I'm in bed last night and he's like. Do you know how like busy it's gonna be tomorrow? Like we might have to keep our kids home from school. Like it, we're not we're not gonna be able to pick them up from school. It's gonna be so so busy. Let's just talk about. That's what, how he was talking. Let's just take it there. Do you even like me? I love you. Okay. Then act like it. Believe what I say. No, I can't because you say stuff like it's gonna be so crowded. We're not gonna be able to leave our house. <laughs> the fact though is like I can't even look at, like, straight at the sun if I wanted to. Like it's actually so bright. Like, could you look at She's not lying. She said that it's starting. It's starting! That's so stinking cool! What? Trying to put y'all on and let y'all see something. Oh, you can't see. A little bit, huh? That's so cool. I think I would be excited about this like at all but i think the totality is so cool i can't stop smiling wow. and i can't believe that i got to see that it it's not happened yet. no but just like even like what i can look at the sun what you mean sun gazer and that's really cool and but you just over here stuck in the count of monte cristo have you read this the sun also is snow you should read this this is really good and then we should watch the uh the play That's a real classic. All I mean, this I guess this is the classic section. The but no, the sun also rises is so good. We had to read that in high school. Mm -hmm. Section right here, the sci-fi. I read this book earlier this year, along with I think the rest of them are over here. But it goes wool, 
and then Shift and Dust. I read those earlier this year. Um, I think in February is when I finished them. Um, you have you know an audiobook, it's like 50 hours, but it's so good. And then they have the Apple TV show, season one it was last year, super good. And season two comes out this year. So if you guys like reading books that also have like TV shows attached to them, then I would definitely recommend the Silo series or the Wool series. Yeah. I Got me really being a booktuber. Very good. Super good. How are you done with Wool? No, but How I'm far? in the middle of reading it. Uh, how far are you in it? Um, I think I have like five hours left. Ah, that's good. Yeah. And it's really long. It's probably like 14 hours total. Yeah. I told him it's like 50 hours of story. You know, I hate, I hate when I at my own sentences. Like just now I just went, like, Ew. When did you start that? I don't know. I mean, I hate it because I become aware that I'm doing it. It's just kind of embarrassing. Ooh. Next stop. Why in the world was he here? Because we need a refrigerator filter. And I want to see if they have this like specific cleaning thing. We've been really doing a lot today. I can like well, the eclipse and eclipse in. I was speaking of. Every few seconds, you just gotta look up there. Probably like a four. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot, almost totality. Oh, I was telling you, Aaron. The worst errands are when you have to go to like a million different places just to get one thing from each place. Just you have one? to go to like five different places, but you just need like one thing. That's annoying. Yeah. Like, I wish you could just get everything at one place. We came to Andy's to get some ice cream. You can see it. I haven't had gluten today. Mom. Hello. Hello. It's just on the news uh, here in Can Mexico. I do the stolen brownies Sunday with no cherry? Okay. You still want the pecans? Yeah. yeah. And can I just do, um, like a small cookies and cream? Yes. Oh, vanilla things? Yes. Ours is. We got our half. I'm sorry, no, that's all. Mm -hmm. Ours is ours is eleven. A little sun I'll let y'all go so y'all can save y'all battery. Alright, we'll see y'all. Found a field. Found a field. It's probably like really halfway now. Oh wow, it's over halfway. I was worried about like the clouds covering it, but you can see through the clouds. So my professor, he not really with your naked eye, about. I don't think, but with the glasses, you can see through the clouds. Yeah, like perfectly. So that's exciting. It's getting very dark. I was saying I'm fulfilling all my oh, little high school dreams right now because I always dreamed of like having a truck and then having a little date. There's something romantic about this. It's almost fully covered, y'all. That's so sick. I can't believe that. So it's that's the moon covering the sun. Wow. Are you laughing at me? No. Oh. We're having some some difficulties though here in uh, Tejas. We got a cloudy day, so it's kind of covered in some areas but Kyra kind of got caught slipping looking at it without the glass scary. you did it again well isn't it fine if the clouds are over you're gonna burn your retina to show y'all so gotta bear with me but I will not let this moment pass us can y'all see it Take this off.
was a big, really big. Not even trying to force it. It is very much weird. Like, there's definitely an eerie vibe out here. Feel it. Like, listen how quiet it is. Is that weird? Yeah. I hear some birds. Okay, so we can hear birds. I'm going to be interested to see if while it's happening, if the birds stop. Because some people were saying that don't just look at look with your glasses for the whole two minutes or however long it lasts. Like, take your glasses also off and look around, like, at your surroundings to see what that's like. So but we probably have like five-ish more minutes, but there's a huge cloud coming, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to see it. I think it's probably less than a quarter of the moon showing, but there's a huge cloud coming. And we kind of discovered that if the cloud is really thick, then you actually can't see it through the cloud. It's only if the cloud is like thin. But right now we can see it. So hopefully, Lord, keep the clouds over there. <laughs> God wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> He's not going to make us wait 20, 20 more years. Mm -hmm. Well, just in case he do, let me go ahead and look. I know. <laughs> <laughs> God wouldn't do that. Let me just look just in case. Wow. But honestly, even with this much of it covering the sun, it still really only looks like it's a gloomy day. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really... So I can see how in other parts, if you're not getting 100% coverage, it's like, meh. Do I have any eclipse? Kiss? Any quiss? A quiss? Any quiss? A quiss. Oh, we just looked up. I know. Why are we doing It's hard that? not to look. <laughs> I didn't realize. It's hard not to look with the bare eye. We, if, look, if it was back in the day before, like, they even knew, we would have had our eyes burnt up. I, I didn't know. I honestly don't feel like I would have known without TikTok. But you can't even see. Like, you can't see it without these. No, you can't. Oh my gosh, it's almost fully covered. I know. Oh my goodness. When okay, the clouds, the clouds. when the clouds cover, then it kind of gets weird because it's like it feels like it's seven p.m. This is low key what it feels like when there's going to be like a tornado. You know, True. Guys, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's dark out here. No kidding. You can't see it on the phone though. It like. They were not kidding. Wow. Do you guys see this? You guys can't tell how dark it is, but it is like crazy dark out here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like, it's silver. It's silver out here. Yeah, it opened up completely. I knew God wasn't going to fail us. Hey. Wait, it's actually so dark. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. And, and look, wow. The clouds that are even there, we just have a little slither section so we can actually see it and enjoy it. This is insane. I wonder what the boys are thinking. They weren't allowed to go outside. I wonder look if they at can the plane. Oh, it's coming down right now. Can you believe how dark it is? I look like I'm about to get shot or something bad about to happen. They legit said that it was going to be dark. It feels really weird. They said that it was going to be dark. And they were not lying. Nope. Nope. Don't do that. Oh no. No. The clouds came. Oh, but we, we can still kind of see. Okay. You can still. Oh wow. The moment oh. it's fully. The moment it's fully about to eclipse, the clouds come. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's fully. It's almost fully there. Don't look up. Kyrie, it's dark. What? <laughs> what? It went nighttime. Well, you just got to kind of look with your bare eyes. It's nighttime. It really, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my stars. Even without the glasses on, you can see it. Oh, my gosh. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. 
Wow. Wow. I could cry. Wow. <laughs> That's so awesome. I know you're not supposed to look at it with our bare eyes, but I mean, how can you not? Oh my goodness. It's really nighttime now. The whole area just got dark. That is amazing. I can't even believe we get to experience this. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Like what? Oh, <gasps> and the red ring. It's moving still. Remember the moon is still. You literally can't even see it oh. with the glasses. Oh, there's the sun. Oh, it's okay. out the other end. So when it's fully covered, you can kind of see it without your glasses on. So, like, I'm glad. I'm glad we were looking at it with our bare eye well, because it looks like it's on fire. now you can't just look at it with your bare eye. Yeah, no. This is, you know, I'm a sightseer. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm so happy we get to see this. It's weird that it's going to go back to being fully bright. <laughs> wow. Wow. How long can we look at it through these? Is it like okay? As long as you want, yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you didn't get in the way. The, are you like kind of like, does it make you kind of emotional at all? A, a second, it did for a second. It just kind of just makes me want to cry. You can cry. I mean, not anymore, but it's just so amazing. Like, I think that's the definition of awesome. Just like, it put the whole world at pause. This is incredible. I love stuff like this. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I was talking a lot. Actually, I'm not sorry, that was amazing. That was awesome. I'm so glad we did that, and I got an equis. Equis. I got an equis. An equis. Where to now? I don't even know what to do. I'm acting crazy like them birds. Yeah. You wanna go to... Did you notice though? Like, did, did you think any birds were acting crazy or anything? I was... It just went quiet. I can't believe it got so dark and so quiet. And it's about to be super bright again. And I bet you it's still partially... I mean, it's still partially covered. It's still dark out here. Yeah, no, it was... This was the before. It was, like, fully a sunny day. Like, it was hot. I was... I'm wearing shorts and a right. t-shirt. Like, I was starting to sweat, honestly. And then it just, like, boom. Wow. I'm glad I didn't burn my eyes out because I was really kind of getting close to just, like, just wanting to stare at it. I know. <laughs> I think that's my favorite thing now, like low key, I'm gonna have like an eclipse on my lock screen and I'm kind of like really into that. I'm about to like start reading Twilight. <laughs> they had eclipse books and like solar system books. Yeah, like, that's cool. What, how, how much is the tax east to space? Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to go to, I ain't going to, go out to there. space. Uh -uh. Don't let me get no money. That's gonna be like the Titanic submarine type stuff though. Some places we not meant to be. Would you go to space if you could, though? No. I get caught. I would literally probably have a panic attack and poop my brains out there. I would still do the Titanic submarine thing. If it was, like, physically possible to do that with, like, 100% safety, I would do that as well as go to space. I would kind of just have to, like, close my eyes. 
It's still bright. Do we have them? Oh, you already put them on. I want to see if we can still see. There's folks still out here looking. Okay, yeah, no. It, you can still see it. Yeah. It's just opening up again. Hey. Day's not over. Clips ain't over. So, Kyra got some flowers. Guys. Not to be mistaken, me getting these for her. Look how pretty these are. Although I should have. They're watercolor. My girl told me these flowers took her breath away. I said, say less. Truly, I was walking out of the grocery store. I turned and saw them. I went, <gasps> I went back and checked out and had to grab some because they're so pretty. I've never seen these. So what, what about these took your breath away? Do you just like the color? The colors. The color. I saw the sun. Wow. <laughs> I saw the sun. Ooh. So you know when you pull them apart, it gets like no, no, honey, honey, you're not listening. Take Are you going to pull them apart? You have to, you have to pull them apart. Oh, I didn't know you had to. So these are called watercolor ethno... Ethno? It's nothing. I'm going to tell They're called... Get on the phone, Kaka. Okay. They're called watercolor... Gypsophilia. Gypsophilia. These are so nice. So pretty. Like, look at this green. That's so cool. I can't believe it. So, do you think they just dropped the like food coloring? No, I think these grow naturally like this. There's no way. My teacher had one of these. Did she? Were they that? Were they like that? The boys learned all about solar eclipses. Carter tried to tell me about the solar eclipse. Carter tried to say it lasted seven minutes. I'm like, I was there. The, fire sun the boys couldn't tree. watch it because of liability. Did we tell them that? No, I don't think so. Yeah, liability at the school. They don't want to be um, in trouble for bringing the kids' eyes up. <laughs> Which is smart. You know, I didn't really think of everything. You're joking. Honestly, I want to just be a little fairy and be plopped in here. This is where I want to live. Didn't you just finish reading about fairies? Yes. No, these are, I think these are my favorite. I even can see the sunshine. Gorgeous. Okay, put some food in there. So you put the food in first? Yeah. Where am I going? Y'all bear with me. stunning. Y'all bear with me. This is my first time doing this. I had nobody ever teach me about this, but apparently it's going viral and all the boys are learning through TikTok how to take care of a woman. How to be good to a woman. Because like we we bought flowers and we wouldn't set it up. That's what we were doing. But apparently you gotta set it all up. I would have known that back in high school that I would have been doing that. So a guy talking about you don't do too much, right? Um you wanna do a good amount. Of water? Yeah. Well, like that? Yeah. Yeah, about right there. Boom. Something like that. So now all you young men out there, or husbands, who you had the thought, the thought that counted to get your wife or your girl some flowers, but you didn't know that there was extra steps, you now know, as I do, as do I. You're welcome.